the abuse for me lasted probably, let's see, probably five years, close to five years. In between that time, there was a lot of police calls, you know, a lot of police records, hospital trips, um, stitches. Having my daughter see that was probably the worst. Then the ultimate worst was, you know, having my daughter threatened to be taken away from me. And that was when, that was my breaking point. It's one of the most common types of calls that Columbia County officers respond to uh, daily, 24 hours a day, we're dealing with domestic violence. And as our population has grown, our, our number of calls have continued to go up. So there's a great effort into uh, bonding with our local nonprofits, most importantly, safe homes, because that's, that's just their primary goal is to changing lives. One of the things that we do when we respond to the domestic violence cases is we hand out these bracelets uh, and they simply say, is this abuse? Uh, so even if, if our victim at the time may not have the courage to call uh, right then or to go to the shelter, uh, and it may be hours or days later, she can look at this and say, you know what, I can go, I can go somewhere for help. We are the only domestic violence shelter in a 10 county area. We provide 24 hour emergency shelter, but we also have an emergency crisis hotline. We provide life skills classes, um, support groups, parenting groups, financial assistance, transportation, child care, a residential aftercare program, legal advocacy, and our mission is to transform victims of domestic violence into survivors. Safe homes had been at a point of needing to expand for about eight years. Um, they had uh, looked at lots and different things, but they hadn't taken the step forward to actually get into the build of a new facility. So we went to Regions and were able to get a construction loan that fit perfectly with what our needs are to coincide with what our capital campaign funding would be. Knowing where they came from and their old facilities and what they looked like, and they did so much good in those facilities, but they were really inadequate to, to help as many people as they needed help. And to see this new awesome facility, where they're going to they're gonna have 36 beds in here and it's 14,000 square feet and they're going to be able to help so many more people. You know, it really makes you feel good that, that we're helping an organization that's making an impact in our community. When Amy and Joanna kind of came to us and said, you know, this is our vision, this is our dream of the shelter, we were right in. We were like, what can we do to help? We were there from day one helping them pick out the piece of land that the shelter now sits on, all the way to um, helping them design the shelter. It's a beautiful place. Uh, and it's really well done, very well built, uh, very well designed, and it's set up to really take care of people with some really challenging needs, and it's just great to be a part of that. It's so important that our ladies have a place to come that feels like home, but more important than that, the building is great. Um, it's beautiful, but it's what's gonna happen inside these walls that really make the difference in these ladies' lives.